G'day guys, it's uh, Rocky here from Further Faster and it's Friday, so it's uh, beer o'clock review time. And yeah, we're in the backyard again, because we're still in isolation. I uh, hope everybody's uh, bearing up with it. Um, anyhow, so Friday, beer o'clock review, we look at some bit, we look at, have a beer, look at some gear. Uh, first of all, the beer. Uh, today we've got a Shepherd Neiman Co. Kentish Strong Ale. Now, I'm 50 year old and I'm originally from England. Um, I think I've drunk most English beers, but I've never actually come across this one before. And it's a little bit different. Um, one, because it still ferments in the bottle as well. And it's got three, it, the hops are added three times. Uh, hence its name, Trice Hopped Beer. Uh, it's quite strong, it's 6.5%, uh, but it is a belter of a uh, ale. Um, yeah, I've been um, cracking into this for 10 minutes, and it's really, really nice. It's quite light, actually. What you, you know, you think it'd be a bit heavier, but it's not. Um, I'm quite stoked. So that's a Shepherd and Neem Strong Ale, Kentish Strong Ale. Got that from the uh, beer library as well. Okay, gear. I thought we'd have a quick run through our lineup of, or Salewa's lineup of winter boots for this upcoming season uh, in the store. Uh, in terms of winter boots, we tend to, uh, we do La Sportiva and we do Salewa. So I thought we'd uh, look at Salewa's range tonight and um, then we'll look at La Sportiva later on. Uh, what makes it a winter boot? Well, first off, all these are crampon compatible. What's that, sorry? Crampon compatible. Mm. So they will take a crampon uh, of various degrees. They all do various different things. So there's usually a men's and ladies option for each one as well. I'm not probably bringing everything out. Okay. So we'll go, we'll go through it a bit here. So we start off with the, rep the rep Rapace, the Rapace, depending on how you want to um, pronounce it. Um, the one differing thing out of all these, this is actually a tramping boot, a backpacking boot, which will take a cramp on, and the rest of these are more light alpine boots into heavy alpine boots. So if you want a boot uh, which is a bit more forgiving, it's the least stiff of them all as well. It'll feel like a normal tramping boot, but it will take a cramp on. It feels like a stiff tramping boot. Yeah, you've got these boots, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, great. It's a, yeah, it's a stiff tramping boot, but, you know, if you're not doing full-on big missions in the... Uh, it, on winter with crampons on all day this is a good little boot and if it's your first boot you need and you know you maybe going on it your course for the first time not a bad boot to look at either um in terms of crampons it'll take a semi-automatic crampon which basically means it'll take a crampon which has got the lever into the back there with a plastic thing over the front there like on the raven um not particularly heavy quite tough good rand all around it and that's the women's you're holding, isn't that's it? That's the women's one, yeah, I'm holding it. Just giving men's as well. I, just, I didn't bring bringing that one out. So that's the Apache. Uh, heavy duty backpacking boot, which will take a cramp on. Now we go into the, more of their Alpine range. So this is the Crow. This is probably the lightest cramp on compatible women's boot on the market. Uh, it is a very light boot. Also, there's a slight difference in fit as well. Um, that's what I call a high volume fit which means there's quite a bit of space in there. This is a bit more of a low volume fit, more of an alpine fit, so it's gonna fit a little bit tighter uh, around your foot. Again, lightweight, we'll take a cramp on very easily, quite tough, very stiff. So if you're doing a lot of walking, it's more of a tramper you are, look at that. If you do want your first set of lightweight alpine, alpine boots, maybe doing a course for Arthur's Pass this year, maybe one to look at, because it is super lightweight. Um, that's the crow. Then we move into the meat and veg of it, I should say. We've got the Raven and we've got the Vulture. So this is a new design Raven. It came out last year. That's the ladies there. And this is the men's. Now, um, a bit burlier now. You get into a much tougher Alpine boot and you're getting some uh, better features and fancier features. If you notice here, you can lock off the lacing down here. Okay. So it, so it goes into almost like a rock shoe lacing. You can get it really tight. So it's really holding your foot well mm -hmm. if you are starting to do a bit of alpine work. Okay. Especially if you're onto rock as well. You can, you can also lock it off in there as well. But it's also still got a reasonable flexible cuff to it as well. Now, one of the great advantages of this, if you've got a fairly narrow foot as well, the heel hold on this boot is really, really good. It's almost like a ski boot. You, you put your foot in there and the, the heel hold is phenomenal at the back. Um, but if you're a wider foot, then we're probably looking at the, the vulture. But no, really good boot. Again, very aggressive sole unit as well, you can see that. It's got a real bite to it coming down scree, coming down snow, whatever. Um, in some ways, almost a bit more comfortable than the Crow as well. That This is proving to be real popular with ladies wanting a lightweight mountaineering boot. 
So that's the Raven, and that's the men's version of it there. With the, with the petal crampon on, just to show how the crampon goes. So again, the Loltec semi-automatics. Then up from that, we've got the Vulture. Now I'm super stoked to be able to get the ladies' Vulture in as well. Oh, is that the ladies? Yeah, right. uh, I think we're the only shop in NZ with this boot, actually. Uh, but I'm really, really st stoked. It's very colourful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they all are very colourful. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, very much so. So this is a lot burlier. Okay. Um, so maybe you're doing a little bit of easy winter climbing now as well. You're into some gullies, grade one, grade two gullies. It, it's really substantial boot. Uh, real burly thick leather. Again, you've got the lockout lacing there with the cams. Mm -hmm. and so two, yep. There, and you can really lock it into there as well. And you've got a really good flexible cuff on there as well at the back yeah really solid and is it like, like a, in sock or something not great. really no it's just a little bit higher uh, and a lot of padding around the heel yeah um that's the men's version of it there i've got these boots uh used them last year they're really 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 good indeed really solid but i gotta say it's got more volume in than the raven so if you've got a slightly wider foot maybe the vulture's one for you to be looking at um real good boot and on the end here, we have the Vulture Verdical. Now, this is an ice climbing boot, basically. So if you want to go winter climbing, uh, this is what Salewa's offer is. They don't do men's and ladies, but this does go down, obviously, to uh, quite small sizes. And we tend to keep track of a sizer in the shop. Um, quite light, light weight for it is. Now, the price is quite competitive as well. Off the top of my head, though, I can't remember what it is, but I know it's quite competitive. Uh, obviously, it's fully stiffened, full shank there. So this is a front pointing boot. If you can go put down, find some ice in the Remarkables, something like that, White Creek, really, really good boot. Um, so there you go. That's a, a brief overlook at the Salewa winter walking, winter mountaineering, ice climbing range. Um, they're obviously all on the website. Where are the chips? Where are the chips? Mm. What for? We had chips for Beer Clock Review. I don't know where they are, I think they're in the house. Uh, you throw me right off there, anyhow. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, hopefully um, everybody's going to have a cracking weekend. Uh, tomorrow we are sponsoring the uh, Crush to Cargill... Loop the Loonies? Loop, loop for Loonies Ultra starts tomorrow morning at 6 in the morning. So I'll be out here doing loops around here with Mr Badge. And, uh, yeah, that'll be our exercise within our bubble for the weekend, hopefully. Anyhow, we'll speak to you next week, guys. Have a cracking weekend. See you later. Cheers.